In this video, we're going to be using cross-hatching to draw the nose, uh, and we're going to go over some of the basics of setting up the nose with accurate proportions. Uh, so I'm going to play this video, and then I have the reference picture that I'm looking to off to the side here that you can um, watch. So I'm lining that picture up, and uh, you can just draw next to the eye, the charcoal eye drawing. So again, this is going to be cross-hatching. And to start out, I'm just going to draw the uh, height of the nose and the width of the nose with circles. And then I'm drawing three circles on the bottom of the nose here. Now when you draw those three circles, look at which one is going to be the lowest. So the middle of my nose here dips down the lowest, so I'm drawing that middle circle um, down in the middle. But they, the three might be even, but look at the placement of them and the size uh, comparison. So all three of my circles are pretty even for the most part there. Um, the right side, you might want to draw that circle a little bit larger. But then after that, I'm starting to map out highlights and shadows. So I'm going in, I drew the shadows where these darkest areas are. And then from there, the next darkest section is to the right half of the nose here. So hopefully you were able to get a good picture that has a uh, great contrast where you can see those really dark shadows and those really light highlights at the same time. Um, but now I'm just going back to refine the outline still trying to focus on just highlights and shadows. Um, if it helps, try to look at the negative space. So instead of looking at uh, what you think is there and drawing the normal outlines that you would, look at the shapes of the negative area, such as the shape of uh, the shadow here, or the shape that it makes underneath this corner of the nose right here. So looking at... Um, negative space helps just to get those proportions right. Uh, try your best to outline everything really lightly first. That way if you mess up on an area you aren't erasing a lot of detail that you have done. So you're not starting from scratch. So definitely keep it simple um, and then as you go you're starting to slowly darken, uh, darken the areas of the drawing. So I'm starting to add a little bit of shading. Again, I would start with the darkest areas first for your shadows. And I'm going to go back over this, so I'm still pressing fairly lightly. Uh, getting the shadows outlined first helps to get those proportions accurate, so you can see uh, what it's going to look like once you have one shadow down, and then you can react to it uh, with the next part. So I'm just taking my time here uh, going over the shadows. And Again, since this is cross-hatching, I'm just doing vertical lines to start, and then when I go through on my second layer of value change, I can then go in with the cross-hatching uh, to start to darken the darkest tones, and that way I can also leave the medium values the same. So again, I'm just going in on the darkest areas here with hatching, um, and then I'm going to start to uh, go back over some areas, kind of fade the shadows out a bit, so that... Um, as you can see on the picture here, it's the darkest in the middle and then slowly fades into the highlight. So try to show where that value change is happening and what it's doing. Um, when you do go in with the cross hatching where you start to draw over top of your lines, I would try to follow the contour or the shape or form of your uh, facial feature. So on the nose here, we can start to um, add the angles at a bit of a curve. So I'm going in right now doing that so that it helps to emphasize the dimension of the nose and helps to really create uh, that 3D form. So I'm going across it here, um, trying to show how the nose curves and comes up towards the middle and then back down. So whatever is closest to you is going to be the highest peak of, um, of that form that you're drawing with the line. You can also use your finger to blur some of the lines, especially in the shadows where they fade into highlights. Uh, that'll really help you to get more of those medium tones. So again, I'm just looking at those medium toned areas, uh, trying to leave the highlights completely white. And you can still see the texture of the cross hatching as I'm working here, uh, so I'm trying to make sure that that's emphasized as well. And again, try to follow the form uh, whenever possible to help emphasize the dimension. And really look at the shading and what's going on around the nose. So it shouldn't just be 
a solid outline around the nose, but remember it's the shadows and the highlights that are going to create this form. So try to avoid outlining things and try to create those outlines using shadows and highlights. Um, so I'm shading on the left side of the nose where it's more of that medium value, trying to blur those medium tones into the highlights a little bit more. And then just going back over things, darkening up my shadows, um, looking for details and maybe any issues or errors that I can then uh, go back and fix as I'm working. Remember too to use that kneadable eraser, especially if you outline your highlights and shadows. Um, it'll be a good way to bring those highlights back into the uh, picture here. And you can pull and pinch, pinch the uh, eraser to really get good detail with it. And I'm just tapping to pull up uh, the charcoal. All right, so there is, again, the nose using cross-hatching. Um, remember to start with just simple light circles, outline everything first, and then slowly go back into the shadows and build those layers.